Hi everybody and welcome back to my garden on a beautiful sunny Friday. It's 15 degrees today. Almost feels like summer's right around the corner. Of course it's not even spring yet, but it definitely feels like it's almost summer on a day like today. Lovely blue sky and I'm listening to a whole bunch of birds singing in the woods behind me. And I'm outside today to do a little bit of direct sowing. This is a big day. First seeds that I get to direct sow. It's just a perfect spring day to be sitting here. But I suppose I better get up and do some things. So here is where I'm working today. I have these seven little rows uh, right outside the greenhouse. There's some ranunculus um, hardening off there. And behind the fence is just a pile of junk that belongs to my neighbors. So that is not ours. But we're going to have a look over here. You would have seen this in a garden tour that I did in the fall, but that was months ago now. These are my strawberries in the first row. I'm sure they overwintered fine. Now you can, from this view, you can't actually see anything. Row two and row three, I actually tried some fall planting. We have row two has lupins, row three has yarrow. There. There is a fairly substantial root with some growth on the top, but the root has pushed out of the soil quite a bit. I assume it just wasn't rooted in well enough um, to go through the winter. So, and I see a few more up there that are a little bit greener than this one. So I think I might top dress it to give it a little extra protection. And then in row three, there is yarrow. And these ones are looking a little bit better. There's one. There's a good one right there. Not very big, but they are alive. So this is not the typical white yarrow that you see in your lawn. These are cut flower varieties. So still perennial. Four is empty. Five is empty. Six has overwintered snapdragons. And this was another fall planting experiment that failed a little tiny bit. They actually grew really, really well, but they were much too big by the time winter hit. So, so my suspicion is that they are not going to do very well. They were pretty big in the fall and I cut them back substantially. They had not bloomed yet. And then the last row here had a little bit of parsley left over from last year. And there's one plant there and a couple little plants here. They might be weeds, but I did try direct sowing some things in September last year that I thought didn't come up. So this is the row here. I'm going to clean it up a bit and uh, direct seed it with Larkspur. And just on the off chance that either these two little plants or that one down there is actually Larkspur from last year, I'm gonna leave those here for now. I also think I'm going to put my ranunculus and um, some of those are anemones actually um, in the shade behind the greenhouse because I think it's a little bit too warm for them. So I'm going to do that first. So what I have here is giant imperial choice mix larkspur. Giant Imperial White King and a Galilee mixture, Larkspur. So there's three different kinds. These two come from Swallowtail Garden Seeds in California, and this one comes from Johnny's. It's, it's too bright to look directly at the camera. I think I decided I am going to rip out these Snapdragons. Like I said, I have lots more to replace them. I'm gonna rip these out and I'm gonna do two full beds of Larkspur because I have about 2,000 seeds here and I want a lot of it. is really nice and soft and I top dressed it by probably three or four inches in the fall with some nice new compost. So these are all permanent raised beds which means I'm not going to till them or dig them over or anything. Um, they're already really nicely set up. What we did here is this was this is um, about three feet lower than the rest of our yard. We have a little hill behind 
uh, my herb beds here on the other side. Uh, and this part of the grass was always really, really swampy in the spring. And what we discovered was that it had been a hard packed gravel driveway at one point going all the way up to the back of the property. So we couldn't dig it at all. All we did was lay cardboard and we dumped a good six inches of soil over the top. And I continue to build that up a little bit each year. Our um, stone walkway is still two to three inches above the levels of the garden beds because I knew I'd be building them up um, a little bit more over the, uh, the next couple of years. This will be the third growing season for most of these rows. I think the final three rows I only put in in the middle of last summer. So I'm just gonna level these now and then I'm going to seed them. I had to come back to my bench. It was way too hot out there, but I did get all my seeds planted. I did a full row of each. Two of them were mixes and then one of them was pure white. So I'm really excited to see what sort of colors I get out of them. And I should add that I'm not going to water it in and I'm not going to cover those rows up. They'll get watered in tomorrow. And then hopefully tomorrow I can get out and plant the rest of the ranunculus and get the anemones in the ground. And then throughout the next week, I'm going to have to do a seedling tour. And I'll also do the March garden tour as well. I haven't done that yet. We have crocuses and snowdrops blooming and uh, lots of stuff starting to poke their head up. So lots of beautiful things coming up here in the near future. But for now, thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.